guys, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands On Learning. And today I thought I would um, bring you along with me and just show you what I've been thinking about or doing as far as organizing our school stuff. Um, I always try before we start a new school year to reorganize all of our school stuff. So I'm going to show you kind of what I'm going to do. I've started on a few things, but um, a lot of it still has to be done. So I'm going to just kind of like walk you through what I plan on doing and what I have done. And you can kind of see our stuff and kind of where I keep it. I've done other videos in the past that have showed um, some of my organization and some of my stuff. But um, I just thought I would bring you along for our new year and what I plan on doing. I always reorganize it, even if I think it's kind of organized already. I like to start fresh the next school year, so I just kind of take everything out and go through it and um, put stuff back that we're going to use and put it back how I want it, nice and neat. So that is what I'm going to show you today. And right now it is um, raining pretty hard out right now. So that is why I thought this would be a good time to do that because we cannot be outside at the moment. And so if you hear anything in the background, the kids are um, over here, they're over there in the living room and they are watching um, a movie. So um, yeah, that's what you might hear. But uh, we're gonna get into it and I'm gonna kind of show you what I've been planning and what I've been doing. Here we go. Okay, so the first area I'm gonna start on is this, um, this is like a little buffet table that came with um, our kitchen table when we bought it, uh, when we moved into this house was it 15 years ago and um no we moved into this house no we got married 15 years ago we moved in this house about 10 years ago okay so anyways um what i did is inside here is just like all of our um office type supplies that i use for school so my plan is to go through here i already pulled out i'll show you i already pulled out a few things can you see up here on the top um here's like our laminator and just some tape and some paper that had gotten like was starting to fall out and some of our paper is just kind of jumbled up so I plan on going through this whole um, table here and getting it um, organized and I even pulled out some stuff like we have some just some like old HP photo paper and stuff um, so I need to organize that I haven't done anything with that okay and then moving over here slide you over okay so you guys have seen this probably before um, this is these are our um, work boxes and our area where I keep a lot of our school stuff um, that we use on a daily basis. Up on the top, up here, is where we keep um, our laptops. So we have three laptops there. The top one is mine, and the bottom two are the ones that you let the kids use for school. And then my husband, he has a whole area in our basement for his computer stuff. He has a computer desk and everything. So none of his stuff is up here, but that's my stuff and the kids' stuff. Okay, so then these drawers here I actually already did organize. I went through, and I'm just going to show you. I don't know. Maybe I should take the camera off the... Um, I have it on the stand right now just so that it won't be too shaky. I may end up having to take it off the stand. But anyway, um, so I organized this top drawer with just like supplies. So it's got scissors, tape, here are our book rings that you guys see me use a lot. Um, this is what they look like, these are the ones that I buy. And so, so anyways, this is just like, these are some of our clips. And I have some binder clips in here, just, you know, white, white out, just kind of um, stuff that we kind of use on a daily basis. These are the um, spinners that I buy for uh, our games that you may have seen in some of my other videos. So I get them on um, Amazon. So I just have a couple bags of those in here. So yeah. And then I organized the rest of the drawers. This one just has um, some extra... Um, these are extra boxes of crayons that we haven't gotten into. These are our uh, tape that we, highlighter tape, and just some pens and markers, our stapler, that kind of thing. Um, this one, if I can zoom you in. Okay, so this one has um, a start, start of one of our um, drawers on manipulatives. So here I have some of our buttons and our pom-poms that you've seen in my other videos. These are, um, <laughs> these are little, uh, no, let me, a second. little finger puppets, but we use them for manipulatives. And um, these are little frog manipulatives. These are little car manipulatives. Um, and then the drawer underneath, we also 
Uh, I also put manipulatives in that one. Okay, so that was this drawer. And then the next drawer, I organized some more of our manipulatives in it. These are caps. Um, we save the caps to those squeezable food uh, containers, like the ones that you feed babies or the ones that um, toddlers and little kids like to eat. And we use those as manipulatives. These are our... Um, our stack cube manipulatives. I have a few Lego Duplos in here that we use for counting and stacking and things. Um, the kids have a lot more of them in their room that they use for just regular playing with, but these ones I keep out here for school. And then um, here are our counting bears. And then in this drawer, it's just more manipulatives. So I have our, um, these are our like little uh, cars. These came in some kind of learning resource type thing. But anyway, we use those as manipulatives. These are buttons, like the bigger buttons, different shapes and sizes. Um, these came in, I forget, I think these might have come in, come in our 100 chart, our movable 100 chart. Anyways, they're little blue and red squares that we like to use. Um, you've probably seen these, we use these a lot. Um, these are little gems that I got at the dollar store. Back here are just more buttons. Oh, the buttons that you saw in this drawer, these ones are the ones that have magnets attached to them. And by the way, I didn't show you, in the back here, um, these are all of our mini erasers in here that we use as manipulatives. And the bottom one are big erasers that we use as manipulatives. So we've got that, and where was I at? Okay, so then um, back here, um, these are just buttons that do not have um, any magnets attached to them. And then these two are just empty. Um, we use these like if we're gonna roll dice. These came in a game that I don't think we have anymore, but anyway, um, we use these if we're gonna roll dice or sometimes we use them just to put manipulatives in uh, and roll them out or whatever we need to use them for. So I just kind of stuck those back there. So these uh, drawers here, I actually did already organize. Now the ones over here, I have to, um, I definitely have to reorganize these. Uh, these ones still have like all of our stuff um, in them from the end of that last week of the school year. So I have to take all of this out and put it away. And I'm going to show you where I keep all of our, um, you've probably seen it in another video or so, but where I keep all of our um, activities and things. These drawers get changed out every single week. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know this. I change these drawers out each week. So there's two blue ones here are um, phonics and reading drawers for my... Well, he's six now from a six-year-old. And then these are, two will be his math drawers. These two are one science, one's history um, stuff for the week. These two um, purple drawers are for my four-year-old. They are both his, these two are his math stuff. And then the two um, pink ones down on the bottom are his um, phonics and language arts stuff. So they still are full from that last week of school. So I have to take all that stuff out and just put it away so that they can be empty. And then um, right before we start school, the very first week, I will refill them for the first week. So I still have to do that. And then I have a lot to do over here. These drawers are still just like full of junk from last school year. This top drawer is where we keep all of our Bible stuff. Oh, and I do have, Oh, I threw in George Washington because I wanted, I put him in the wrong um, drawer. This drawer down here is supposed to be history and he's supposed to be down there. But anyway, um, this is where I normally keep all of our Bible stuff. And it's a mess, as you can see, because I haven't done anything since we stopped the school year. So I have to redo that. This is where I keep history stuff. Um, and this is, by the way, well, the Bible stuff is for all of the kids. This history stuff is for history actually i keep history and science stuff in here for my older kids just like some books and things and then each of my kids um the four oldest have drawers in here so um by the way if this is your first video of mine that you are watching i we have six boys and we are currently expecting um baby boy number seven so if you're wondering how many kiddos we have um that we homeschool that is how many we have but the four oldest have drawers right now in here um where they keep like Oh, here. So this is my oldest, and each of the kids have their own um, uh, clipboard, and then they keep papers and things in there. I used to have them, they used to have, we've done it different ways every year. So one year we did folders, one year they had, um, they each had their own binder, and then this past year we did these like open up clipboards, and where they click, 
and so they can put their papers on there. They can keep stuff in them, um, and we really like that. So we will probably continue keeping those this next school year. And then like the next drawer is just um, more of his stuff. And same thing goes for this one. Same thing goes for this son. You know, he's just got his binder in there. And um, my uh, four-year-old only has one drawer. So these, these two drawers are for the six-year-old. My four-year-old only has one drawer down there. And I don't know. I mean, I got to go through all of this stuff because it's still just exactly the same way we had it last year. So I got to empty it all out and go through it. But... Um, I'm looking. I may need to buy another. These things come in, if you can tell. They're like, ugh, if I can lift it. They come in packs of three. I may need to buy another one and stack it up here because we're starting to need more drawers as the kids get older to start doing school. When I started this system, the bottom drawer down there that I have for my little, my four-year-old, he was only two when we started, so he only needed one little drawer. But I'm really thinking he may need two drawers this year. I don't know. These are just to kind of keep their stuff. Over here, um, these are the activities that they do. And then over here are just like their paperwork and their books and things like that. So anyway, um, now that I'm looking at this, I haven't pulled the stuff out yet for this year, but now that I'm looking at it, I think I'm going to need to buy another three drawer to stick on top there as I'm adding more kids to the mix and as they're getting older. But anyway, all right, so moving on. By the way, I took this camera off of the stand, so if it gets a little shaky, I'm sorry, but it's the best way I can figure out how to do this. So next to that, we have our um, whiteboard. Uh oh, my dog needs to go out. Um, we have our big whiteboard stand here, and on the side, please, not too dark. It's been raining, so I couldn't get a whole lot of light in here. Over here, you can see we just have, it comes with all these bins. There's like two bins in each row. And you see, so there's two, four, six bins because um, there's two in each row and um, they're mostly organized actually I know it doesn't look organized but like up here are um, all of our letter manipulatives that you've seen me use in other videos um, that I keep in those and then like these are all um, math manipulatives like numbers and things like that wooden numbers um, these are our, you know just different numbers um, so even though it doesn't look very organized that's all number stuff down there is all science and history and those two. And down at the bottom is all, um, if you can see, like letters like um, that we use, just alphabet letter type things that we use. And um, so I really don't think I need to organize these. I will probably still take everything out or at least look through everything to make sure I have it how I want it. But even though it doesn't look super organized, it really is because they're all kind of in the right area. So I may not technically have to go through all that stuff. But these here definitely have a lot of work to do. Okay, and then moving over, the other section we have over here is, um, oh, by the way, this is where I keep like our, um, whoop, our monthly calendar is right here. And then down here is where I clip um, their work. So during the school year, there's usually a lot of work like on these clips. Um, just so that the kids can have a little area where they keep their work. Um, and then up above, these two cabinets here, my husband bought me, was it two years ago, maybe? Um, because I wanted cabinets that I could um, keep all of my school stuff in because it used to be kind of piled up over here and it was horrible. So um, he bought these and he put them together and I really love them. And we'll, I'll show you those in a second. So up top here, I actually did kind of organize the stuff that I had up top. Um, let me see if I can. Okay, so I kind of organized the stuff I had on top of my cabinets. Um, that over here you can see is our um, pencil sharpener, and underneath there in that in that green bin is um, what is in there? Oh, I think it's just some more like manipulative stuff. Okay, and then um, here are the first four units of my um, Fonts for Reading program. And I have the fifth unit, but I'm still working on laminating some of the stuff. I mean, it's done and it's printed and everything. I just have to lam finish laminating and then that bin will go up there as well. Um, and then these here are, um, are um, sensory type things. This bin right here has colored rice that I made last school year. And so um, that is a sensory bin that we like to put things in. And then down here are all Play-Doh toys in that other bin. And then if you come over here, I just have like, you can kind of see some posters sitting up there. 
laying down, and then um, two little whiteboard type things. Okay, so um, <laughs> I put my kids to work because they were complaining about things. Um, so you may hear somebody doing the dishes in the background. All right, so in my cabinets here, I'm gonna open them up. I do have to go through them um, quite a bit. Down in, here, let's see. Down in this area here are um, a bunch of our books and um, they're kind of just thrown in there so I probably need to go through those. Down here I really don't need to go through this. This is just, um, this whole square right here is math manipulatives. And then as I come up, I don't have to organize any of this because this here, these are all my bins from my early learners math curriculum. These are, each of the units has its own bin. And so um, all of that stuff is right here. So when I was telling you that I needed to, here let's scroll back over here. When I was telling you that the stuff that's in, um, that's still left in their um, work boxes from the last week of school needs to be put away. If there's any math stuff, it needs to be put away in here. Um, so that's where it's gotta go. Anyway, and then these are all of our um, seasonal learning uh, activities. They're on my website, many of you own them. Um, so many of you own my, or learns math curriculum too. And then I also keep all of our seasonal um, math and literacy activities in these bins. I just, three of them just aren't marked that. I really should get them, uh, lay, those labels on them because I have, you can see fall and Thanksgiving, winter and Christmas. Um, I need one for the spring and I need one for Valentine's and I forget what else I'm missing, but um, what else am I missing? But anyway, there's three more bins that I need to label. And then I probably, See, a lot of this stuff is actually still organized pretty good. These are all of our Melissa and Doug puzzles and pieces um, and, and like some magnetic stuff, like just all wood stuff right there that we use. And then um, if we come up, I do kind of, okay, so this stuff right here, this is by the way my um, homeschool mom's Bible. And in this section right here is how we were keeping our supplies, like our daily supplies that we use and I was just grabbing them out. Um, every day like this is markers and then this is just like a caddy with crayons and scissors and pencils and things and then down here was just like glue and that kind of stuff in this bin and that became a giant um, annoying because it kept getting knocked over we have <laughs> we um, use these tables here I'll show you so right here this is our um, little kids table I got some okay so this is uh, the little kids table and then the big kids table is right next to it and so we keep this is where we do school so the little kids do school at this table and the bigger kids do school at the bigger table and we would just take these caddies down and we would um, use them but what I think I'm gonna do this year is and I've did, done this in the past and I think it just worked out better is I'm gonna get them each their own um, school box where they can keep their own stuff and so th so those school boxes that are closed um, kind of like this, but you know, it's an actual school box and they'll each have their own and they'll probably go right here stacked up and they can just pull out their school box each day and nobody is going to fight over who gets what. And also it was more, much less likely to spill because if it does fall on the floor, they're closed up. So that is my plan for that. So I do have to kind of organize this whole area and I had just kind of thrown my homeschool mom's Bible right there just for the time being. Um, this is man math manipulatives. And up here is more math manipulative stuff. Um, so this, basically this whole, I tried to keep this whole cabinet all math stuff except for that little section right there. Otherwise, oh, and that little section of books. Otherwise, all of the other sections in this are math. Um, these are all Melissa and Doug wooden things that are all math actually, because here we've got pattern blocks, number fun, and this right here is an abacus um, and yeah, so I do kind of need to organize some of this though because it, it just kind of looks messy. So, okay, and then the, the cabinet over here. I'm trying to look to see what I need to organize. It's pretty well organized. Up here um, are this cabinet. I tried to keep mostly reading and literacy stuff. So up here, these are all activities that I've made um, for, you can see, short vowels, long vowels, rhyming, sight words all that kind of stuff. Um, and then they go along with what I have up here, which is my phonics for reading program. So um, all of that stuff is there. And then down here, let's get back a little bit. Um, all of these binders are like um, my stuff. And um, right here is stuff that I have to laminate right now. Um, I have another summer review uh, 
if you guys have been following me, I made these um, pre-K summer review activity books. And um, you can get them off my website. I'll leave a link below to my website in case you're interested in browsing um, my learning uh, activities and uh, curriculum. If you're interested in browsing my curriculum, um, I'll leave a link. But yeah, uh, I still have to laminate those ones. So that bag right there is just stuff I have to laminate that I shoved in there. And then these are um, just all sorts of miscellaneous binders. This one here, this was our homeschool binder. And it's still got all my stuff from last year. So I have to take this out, go through it all, take it apart, and decide if I want to use that binder again or what I want to do. Um, all of the pages for that binder, I did a... Um, a review of it a year or two ago. Actually, I think I've done one every year once I got it um, organized the way I wanted it. And um, you can go back and look at and watch those videos. And I have the organizing pages on my website if you're interested in those. Um, but I got to totally review, redo it because I redo them every year. And then the rest of these like are just a bunch of other stuff I won't get into. Oh, the one on the end here though is. Um, uh, my uh, son's book that I um, made him his interactive learning book and I did a whole video on this uh, I made it velcro and he you know he does the um, month you can see we were at the end of the school year so it got May in there um, and he hasn't done it since but yeah it's just it's all velcro and he does all that kind of stuff so this was I made this for my preschooler last year um, this one was the alphabet, and then all the pieces come off, and he matches them up. If you're interested in this, you can check it out also on my website. It's my um, top activity that people have downloaded. Okay, so um, I think it stopped recording when I was talking to you about my binders. And I had actually gone through everything, and then I got to the end and realized it didn't record some stuff. So I'm going to go back through. Um, this stuff here... I do have to kind of organize because this is just a bunch of books and papers that have gotten shoved in here. And then this up here is my phonics for reading whoop, binder that goes with, it's got like the teacher stuff that goes with me, my uh, units up there. And you guys who have been following me know exactly what I'm talking about because that is the phonics curriculum that I wrote um, and still am writing. This section right here is just history stuff. So a whole bunch of just... Um, that kind of thing. So I don't have to organize any of that. This section right here is just art books and some construction paper. And so I don't really have to organize any of that. Um, we have an entire big um, bin down in the basement with our paint and any of our other art stuff. But up here I just keep um, some of our art project books. And then this right here is our calendar um, pieces for our calendar. So I don't need to organize that. I don't need to organize any of this. This is these two rows are just um, things that I've bought over the years that teach um, like reading and phonics. And then down in this section are things I've bought that teach alphabet, except for these two Sterilite bins right here actually have all of the alphabet activities and hands-on um, centers that I have made myself. So if you own my preschool, my ultimate preschool bundle or my alphabet bundle, then you have the activities that are in there. Um, and then over here, this last uh, square right here are just all fine motor activities. Um, and so like I have some Magna Doodles right there. I have this fun little game that I got from Lakeshore Learning um, called Gumball Grab. It's a fun uh, fine motor game. And then this one is also from Lakeshore Learning called Feed the Dog where they have to take the little pinchers and they grab the bones and they feed the dog. So I don't need to organize any of that stuff. So now that I'm looking at things, um, I'm realizing that what I do need to organize mostly are, um, coming over here, are the um, our drawers here. All of this stuff is what I really need to organize and this um, table over here. I need to organize everything in there. So. I'm gonna get to it since it is raining outside. This is a good time for me to do it. Um, hopefully I won't get interrupted by 20 million children along the way, but that's okay, because if I do, I'm mom and that's how it goes. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.